In a previous video, I overviewed how to calculate the density of a gas. However, what if you have a gas mixture? In medicine, it is common to deliver a gas mixture. Some examples include oxygen, nitrous oxide, and heliox. So to calculate the density of a gas mixture, I need to know two things. One, the percentage of each gas and the gram molecular weight of each gas. Now the equation I'm using is a variation of the formula for gas density. So what we'll use is the gram molecular weight of the first gas times its percentage plus the gram molecular weight of gas 2 times its percentage and I divide it by the standard 22.4 liters. So let's look at our first example. We're going to use air. And air is broken down into nitrogen and oxygen. And we can see the percentage of nitrogen in this mixture is 79% and the percent oxygen is 21% and their gram molecular weight associated with these gases. So here's our equation again and we're going to plug it in to the equation. Now for nitrogen my gram molecular weight was 28 so we're going to put that in there and it was a concentration of 79 percent. For oxygen the gram molecular weight is 32 and the mixture was 21% oxygen in the air mix. Now this calculates down to 22.12 plus 6.72. We do the math again and this brings us to 28.84 grams over 22.4 liters and we're going to divide that out and as you can see the density of air is 1.3 grams per liter. Now let's use another example. We're going to use a FiO2 concentration of 50%. So with a 50% setting we have nitrogen at 50% and oxygen at 50% and there's our gram molecular weight. So let's plug in the equation. Same equation so the density of a 50% concentration, we're going to put the gram molecular weight of nitrogen times the concentration and the gram molecular weight of oxygen times its concentration. And that equals, we have 14 plus 16, and that gives us 30 grams. And we're going to divide that by 22.4 liters. And that gives us a density of a 50% oxygen concentration of 1.34 grams per liter. So it is just slightly heavier than an air mixture. Now let's look at a mixture of nitrous oxide. So nitrous oxide is an inhaled anesthetic gas that's used in medicine and anesthesia for dentistry or general operating room procedures and let's look at a common mixture of 60 to 40 so we have a 60 percent nitrous oxide mixture with 40 percent oxygen the gram molecular weight of nitrous oxide is 44 grams and the gram molecular weight of oxygen is 32 grams so we're going to plug this in the equation again to find our density of a nitrous oxide mixture of 60-40. So on the left side, right over here, we have the gram molecular weight of nitrous oxide, which is 44. We're going to multiply it by its concentration of 60%. And then the right side of the equation, we look at oxygen. And the gram molecular weight of oxygen is 32, and we multiply that by its concentration or its percentage is 40 percent and now we have 26.4 plus 12.8 that gives us 39.2 grams over 22.4 that brings us a density of 
a 60-40 nitrous oxide mixture of 1.75 grams per liter. Our next example, let's use Heliox mixture. So we're going to use a common mixture of Heliox, which is 70 to 30, or 70% 70 of helium to 30% of oxygen. So this is a very therapeutic dose. So we have a 70% helium, which is 4 grams, which is the gram molecular weight, and oxygen 30% with a gram molecular weight of 32 grams. We're going to use the exact same equation. We're going to pluck those values in the equation. On the left side, you see, is for our helium, we have 4 for the gram molecular weight times its percentage we're using, which is 70%. And we're going to plus that by the oxygen side. So we have a gram molecular weight of 32 for oxygen times its mixture of 30%. That brings us to 2.8 plus 9.6. And now I have 12.4 grams over 22.4 liters. And when we divide that out, we find out that the density of a 7 to 30 Heliox mixture is about a half a gram, a little over a half a gram per liter. So in these examples, you can see the different densities of gas mixture. We can look at this Heliox, for example, and see it's a very light gas mixture. And this decreases work of breathing. And that's why we use it for patients that have airway, a lot of airway resistance, asthmatic patients. It's easier for, it's a light, at least work of breathing when breathing this lighter density gas. And that is how to calculate the density of a gas mixture. Thank you.